Hello guys. You can see that there is a range, 2D diagram of the range and now I am going to show you how to draw this range in AutoCAD 2D. So let's begin. Just at first, uh, click a new, uh, take a new drawing. Okay, now just switch up this one. Okay, now at first I need a line, a horizontal line. So draw a horizontal line, and for this one, switch on ortho mode. Okay, the dimension will be one one zero. That means one hundred ten millimeter okay so it is 110 so you can take the dimension in millimeter or inch so whatever uh, so it may depends on the dimension of your range and the unit you are using so now from here select center radius and uh, circle and from this point draw a circle and the radius will be 16 millimeter okay now select line again now draw line it will be 17 millimeter in length 17 and again another line of 17 17 and also 17 okay now select this part now select rotate command and from here switch off the ortho mode now select the center of this one and just rotate and take the rotation parameter 17 degree okay now select this one and select move command Again, select the center point. Now, just paste here. Now, enter. Okay. Now, okay. Select this part. Select frame. Now, trim this part. Trim these extra parts. enter now delete this part okay now from here from arc select starting radius now just click here and here and the radius will be 13 millimeter okay now Select circle again, another circle we need. So from this point draw a circle and radius will be 14.5. Okay now select line. Draw line, switch on ortho mode again. The length will be 13 millimeter. Again, 13 millimeter. Okay. 13 millimeter in this direction. Sorry. So it has been bigger. Delete this part. So uh, select line again. And draw line. It is 13. And again, 13. Okay, now select this one, now switch off ortho mode and select the rotate command and from here select rotate and the rotation parameter will be 17, 70 degree, okay. Now select this one, select move and okay. 
just paste here okay now select this one select trim command and trim the extra parts okay enter now delete this one now select start in radius arc and click this point again select this one now click at the end point okay again at this point and it will be 9 okay so this part and this part is completed now select this line and select copy command and copy it 5.5 distance away enter okay now again uh, select this one select the trim command now trim this parts Okay, enter. Now from the circle, select 10 10 radius circle. Select this one. And okay. So from here at first, select this one and this circle and put the radius that is 47. Okay. And again select 10 10 radius circle and now select this portion okay this circle and the radius will be 23 enter okay now select the whole part again select frame now trim this part I also trim this inner part enter now select this portion click on mirror command okay enter now select this line, the original line and need this part. Now our range is complete and only the dimension part is left. So just let's put the dimension. So at first select the linear part. So distance from the center to the center of this circle is 110 milli 110 and Again, so from this line to this line, okay, not this way. We need the vertical distance. Okay, it will be actually eleven. Maybe there is some mistake. This is actually 11. Okay. So slight variation, no problem. And okay. now select angular. So this angle is 17. Now repeat the angle command. Also same thing. This again angle is 17 degree. Okay. Now select radius. So this radius is 16. And this okay. repeat the radius command. This is 14.5. Okay. 
now again select radius this radius is 13 repeat radius command and this radius is 9 now repeat radius command this is 47 and the last one is 23 so our range is complete hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends thank you